What's going on guys? I'm Alex Powers. Today, going through a quick workout, uh, kind of a hit workout, doing a lot of sled stuff today, and topping it off with lunges, because, well, it's a new thing I'm doing. Um, not new to the fitness industry, but new to me. Because I'm always trying to look for a way to challenge myself and make things suck more, so why not just do five minutes of body weight lunges um, and or with the 40s for the first one or two times down and back just to challenge yourself, right? So what I did today was start off with uh, saws on the T-Rex, so we'll show you that. Saws on the T-Rex, so what that is, I'm in a push-up position, my feet are in the straps, pushing my feet back, really getting that stretch coming up into a pike, so saw to pike, uh, not just a saw. Um, right after that, then we did the sled stuff. That was brutal, you know it was. Um, okay, so we started with the black sled, with the black sled, threw a 45 on there, just pushed it down and back. I was keeping flat feet just to get the hamstrings just to isolate. Um, I'm really, 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 really focused on getting those hamstrings brought up and not only size, strength, and everything else, but getting them to work better and not just always having to do uh, some sort of knee flexion to get them to uh, really activate and everything else. I'd like to get stronger hip hinges, you know, deadlifts, that sort of thing, because um, all of that's going to boost uh, my squat, my vertical leap, and everything else, and just help me remain athletic, like I said. As you guys, I'm sure know by now, I have a one-year-old son, he's crazy, he's starting to walk, so I need to remain athletic, so a lot of my workouts are gonna be reflecting that. Anyway, next thing that I did, we dragged this head backwards with this band, same 45 pound plate on there, dragging it backwards, I was in a squatted position, dragging it back, as you see in the video, when I'm driving back, I'm pushing through those toes, rolling onto my heels, walking back and forth, okay? Um, went down and back with that. Then, uh, I did squat to row. Squat to, squat to row is not only a great upper back exercise, that's, like I said, all sled work is concentric. What that means is that there's no lengthening of the muscle, which means there's no damage occurring in it, so then you can recover faster. It's actually gonna help you with recovery. Doing a squat to row, I'm obviously squatting, yes, but I'm also rowing, so I'm getting a little bit of back work in there. I'm getting blood flow to my back and stuff like that. That's not only gonna help it recover from the last two days, but also help it just get stronger, recover faster, build a little bit of size mass, just from putting um, blood into the tissue. After that then, uh, because everything we do here at Power Motion is super extra, um, I decided to be really extra. So what I did was, that's a joke guys, um, I pushed the red sled and then I dragged the black one back behind me. Uh, my intern, Kimberly, was a positive influence on me and continually wanted me to add more weight, though I did not listen to her after a certain point. So like I said, um, the key there is, guys, when you're pushing, drive the knee up as hard as what you can. Super quad dominant exercise. Uh, you are getting a lot of glute in that, though. So when I'm pushing and pulling at the same time, you're putting load at two different sides of your body, right? So it's, it's a very, very high exerting movement. It's really, really great for conditioning. Something you guys should try if you guys want to finish out your workout that way, or just to spice up, you know, the middle of your workout, whatever it may be. I prefer that stuff at the end. I did that at the beginning today, just to kind of get my heart rate up, get my sweat going, and stuff like that. And because that was the main focus of my workout today, um, like I said, I did kind of accessory exercises today. Um, nothing crazy after that. So the next thing I did was a lower lat exercise that you see here. What that's doing is when I anchor that elbow down and then I'm extending back, a lot of people think that my tricep is actually activating, it's not. The key is, is getting what's called extension at the shoulder. So, if my elbow is pinned here and I'm going back, I'm extending at the shoulder, right? I'm not just extending at the elbow, okay? So even though it looks like I'm getting my tricep to work, in reality, I'm actually getting my lat to work all the way down to the top of my pelvis. Runners, athletes, anybody. If you have lower back pain, golfers especially, um, this is a great exercise. This is an advanced exercise. This is very, very difficult, okay? Keep your shoulder anchored. You see me kind of reset a couple times. Um, why I'm doing that is just to ensure that that lat is contracted all the way down to the back of my pelvis. Your lats and your arm drive, that's why they always say arm drive is about 15% of your sprint speed and about 10 to 15% of your jump, depending on who you are. So, when I'm doing that, I'm thinking about that. Like I said, what did I just say my goals were? Posterior chain, strength, power, and also, like I said, I'm trying to work on my vertical leap and stay athletic for my one-year-old son because once he starts running around like this, um, all hell's gonna break loose. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but seriously, do that, it's awesome for you. Um, it's way different than anything you've ever felt and it honestly feels like a cramp going down the one side of your back, but give that a go. Um, after that, then we went into Serrano presses. Um, you know, 
the notorious Eric Serrano. Uh, really just trying to work on that mid-back strength and that help, help pull my shoulders back and stuff like that and keep that in really good position. Um, like I said, getting volume in there. You know, I did 15, 20 reps. Uh, somewhere in there for all my sets. Just getting that going, um, like I said, and keeping that blood in the middle of the back is not only going to help with pressing your squats, your deadlifts, and stuff like that, but just overall posture that you have on a daily basis. Um, and then anybody that has shoulder pain, like I said, that's going to be a primary exercise that you, you got should three do. And a half minutes have, left. Um, physical therapists aren't uh, necessarily programming, programming that all the time, not knocking it. Obviously, every shoulder injury is different. I'm not there looking at it, but like I said, that is a good rehab exercise. People that are coming out of it, corrective exercise and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, give that a go. Like I said, you guys have seen that one before. Um, next exercise, I did tricep push downs with the uh, neutral grip. When I'm pushing down, that's a good bench builder, keeping those wrists locked and pushing down. Um, key to bench press, locking your wrists out, obviously squeezing your back, yada, yada, yada. Here I'm really focused on squeezing that grip, pushing down to get my triceps to work. It's the same thing I'm doing in my bench press, guys. Okay, so another good one. Then I went into some hammer curls, supinated bicep curls, alternating. Um, just getting the blood in the biceps, you know, can't go without an arm pump, so why not? Uh, finish with five minutes of lunges. Like I said, it's a new thing I'm doing. I started the first set down and back with 40s. Uh, I'm gonna try to get one and a half to two uh, every time that I do it, but like I said, five minutes is the goal. What that's doing is instead of running or doing cardio and stuff like that, like where you're going outside, you enjoy running, I'm not knocking you, and I'm not saying don't do it, but lunges, what those are going to do is actually add some strength and stability to your joints. It's also going to add a little bit of size to your legs and some strength. Um, who doesn't want that, right? Uh, not that you want huge legs, but like I said, it will add some density there and it's going to make you more stable. Um, so again, just something for me that I want to challenge myself to do a little bit, and like I said, uh, it's going to push on my lifts. So gonna force me to do something I don't want to do and it's something I'm uncomfortable doing so uh, got to get outside your comfort zone it's 2020 new decade so like I said if you're not challenging, challenging yourself what are you doing staying in the same place wrong answer okay uh, until next time guys like subscribe turn on the post notifications on here we are posting uh, every week for sure at least once a week we're trying to get two times a week up uh, like I said we are getting it out there as fast as what we can uh, I can only work out so many times in a day though and plus Kimberly's time is valuable too so you know, she can only edit so much, and I already annoy her enough with all the other stuff I ever do uh, editing-wise for me. But anyway, like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications, follow me on Instagram, Alex J. Powers, and the gym, The Power Motion. If you are not coming for the Arnold, I'm highly disappointed in you, because everybody's going to be here, except for you. It's okay, you're going to miss out. No worries. See you guys then, uh, 5576 North Hamilton Road, dopest gym on the planet. Until next time, guys, I love you.